The season is now over for Manchester United, so we're heading into the summer transfer window. It's always busy for Manchester United. Every single year there's summer transfer sagas, and this will not be any different because Jose Mourinho is going to be a very busy man, both with signing players and letting players go. For me, there's three key positions we need to strengthen as a club. A striker, a central midfielder, and a centre-back. We need a new spine in this team if we are going to compete in the Premier League and Champions League next year. And we've already been linked to lots and lots of centre-backs. But Sky Sports are saying that Jose Mourinho has given Ed Woodward a list with three names on it. Southampton's Virgil van Dijk, Benfica's Victor Lindelof and Burnley's Michael Keane. Who would be the best centre-back signing for Manchester United out of those three players? Now, 25-year-old Virgil van Dijk, up until he suffered his injury, was arguably the best centre-back in the Premier League. Been an outstanding success for Southampton since he joined from Celtic. And out of these three, for me, Van Dijk is on a different level. Van Dijk is head and shoulders above Lindelof and Keane. I think if we're looking at Eric Bailly and the type of defender he is, he's an aggressive, no-nonsense defender. He loves to run out, get the tackle, move away from his position. And someone like Van Dijk could be a perfect partner to complement that. A defender who's a little bit more static in his game in terms of being very aggressive for, for going into tackles, but Van Dijk strikes me as a natural leader, somebody who's very good at being composed, keeping his head, which is so important as a defender, and maybe even more importantly, organising his defence. I think Bayern and Van Dijk could be the best centre-back partnership Man United have had since Ferdinand and Vidic, which I suppose wouldn't be too hard, uh, given the defenders we've had. But Van Dijk, for me, as I said, out of those three signings, he's Premier League proven, 25, he's got years ahead of him, and he's shown he's top, top draw. But he would cost top, top money. You could arguably probably sign Lindelof and Keane for about the same that you'd have to pay for Van Dijk. Liverpool are going to want him. Man City are going to want him. Maybe United are going to want him as well. Is he going to be the signing? I think out of these three, he's definitely the best choice. Second on the list is 22-year-old Victor Lindelof, the player that the Portuguese press were convinced that Manchester United were signing in January. Lo and behold, we didn't sign him in January, but the rumours are back and they will be back in earnest. He signed a new bumper contract, so I don't know what the price for him now, but it will certainly be more than it was in January. And in terms of what type of defender he is, he's certainly a more aggressive defender. One quick look at his stats and you can see that on average he commits twice as many fouls per game as Van Dijk, with only slightly less interceptions and slightly more tackles. So he tends to foul a lot. And I think the risk with Lindelof is the fact that he's in the Portuguese league. He could be a sensation. He could be like Eric Bai, But it's a risk. Eric Bai was a risk which paid off. Not every player pays off when you sign them from other leagues. Someone like Van Dijk, he's Premier League proven. So is Michael Keane. That's another advantage for him. But would you want to see Lindelof become the first Portuguese signing by Jose Mourinho? Maybe the fact that he is Portuguese is a big reason why Mourinho would want him. But out of these two, he's certainly a bigger risk than Van Dijk. And 24-year-old Michael Keane, we've covered these rumours in detail to the point where reports said that Man United were effectively on the verge of completing a move for him. Premier League proven, he's made over 90 appearances for Burnley since joining them two years ago. PFA Young Player of the Year, he's up for that nomination, I think. Keane is a United fan. That makes so much difference. It really shouldn't be underestimated because if a player wants to play for a club, if a player, the club is at their heart, they play their socks off for that club. You can see it in Rashford and Lingard and these types of players, the academy ones that come through. Pogba. United means more to him than just a shirt on his chest. And I think the same would go for Keane if we re-signed him. I don't think re-signing Keane would be enough on his own, but I think Keane would be a very good upgrade on Smalling or Jones. But let me know who you would rather sign out of those three. You've got Keane, you've got Lindelof, you've got Van Dijk. Is there another centre-back you think we should be looking at that's not mentioned here? Maybe Rafael Varane from Real Madrid. Let me know in the comments below. As always, get into a conversation. I'll join in. Uh, drop a like on the video. Uh, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.